I've often wondered what it meant to magnify God. I understood praising God means I sing to Him, I clap my hands, and I celebrate who He is. But what does it mean to magnify God? Here in Psalm 69, verse 30, it says this, I will praise the name of God with song. So I praise Him in my singing. And magnify Him with thanksgiving. So when I sing to him, I'm praising him. When I give him thanks, I am magnifying him. So I wanted to go through uh, four different ways how to magnify God. The very first way we can magnify God in our personal lives is to view him exactly as he is. He is glorious. He is marvelous. He is wonderful. He's omnipotent. He's omniscient. He's almighty. He is sovereign. And we have to view Him exactly as the Bible defines Him to be instead of as the world requires for Him to be, which is basically a spineless marshmallow. He needs to be everything they want for Him to be. But we, we have to view Him as the Bible shows for Him to be. Uh, John Piper gave this great example regarding this. He says, you can look at God through either a microscope, which makes tiny things look big, Or you can view him through a telescope which allows you to see him for who he is. When you look through a telescope, you can look at the moon and see it in a greater, you can have a greater perspective of just how big the moon really is. So we have to view God as through a telescope. We have to see him for who he is. We're not trying to make him bigger and enlarge him. No, we want to see him for what he is. So the very first way we can magnify him is to have a biblical perspective and view of who he really is. He is sovereign. He is God. There's no one like him. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. He's created the heavens and the earth with his word. He spoke it into being and he upholds it with that same word. That's a fantastic thought to have and perspective to have of God. The second way of magnifying God is connected to the first way. The first way of magnifying God is seeing Him for who He is by looking at scriptures and allowing Him to become great in our perspectives, in our view. Just like looking through a telescope at the moon, you have a greater perspective. So we look at scriptures to have a greater perspective of how almighty, omniscient, or powerful God really is. Now, the second way of magnifying Him is actually sharing that with somebody else so that they too can have this perspective of who he is and now two people view him for who he really is. I magnify God when, number three, I make him my top priority. You see, I cannot just have a perspective of how he is God, how he is sovereign without also making him sovereign and ultimately a top priority in my life. How do I know something is a top priority? I go to my priority list and I make sure that nothing else is served by my top priority, but everything else serves my top priority. Everything I do is in light of what is most important to me. The way I raise my children I raise them in light of how important God is to me. The way I am married, I am married in light of how important God and His standards are to me. Every one of my relationships and the way I live at my career, I do so in light of who God is to me. Now, He is my top priority. Number four, I magnify God when I give Him thanks. Look at, again at the scripture that we started off with, which is Psalm 69 verse 30. It says, I'll praise the name of God with song and magnify him with thanksgiving. You see, the moment I give thanks to somebody, I'm acknowledging their goodness to me. I'm acknowledging that they are the giver and I am the receiver. It is better to give than it is to receive. The giver is is more glorious than the receiver. And so when I give thanks to God, there's so much that has been acknowledged in that moment. And this is why when we give thanks to God, we are actually magnifying Him as our source. We are the ones who receive, and He is our source from which we receive. Now I have magnified God. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. We hope that you're blessed by these video messages my husband Jacques is putting out. If so, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're watching on Facebook, be sure to like and follow. We love you, we're praying for you, and thanking God for His plans and purposes to prosper in your life.